All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with preparing the chicken. Basically what I have over here is just some flour, a little bit of seasoning, salt, and some pepper that I went ahead and added to a bowl. And then I have my egg wash. It's just an egg, some salt and pepper, and some soy sauce. That's why it looks a little bit brown right now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just add my pieces of chicken breast that I cut into little small pieces into the egg wash. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the flour and get that all fried up. So I'll just do like a little bit at a time. Mix that all in there together. And then to the flour. And if you don't want to, you don't have to add your seasonings to the flour. I know um, a lot of people don't. I just gotta have my chicken flavor, pretty much. So, I'm gonna add my lid, shake this up. And then, I'm just gonna fry this for about two to three minutes until it's golden brown and cooked thoroughly. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this is how the chicken is looking like so far. This is how it's going to look golden brown. Okay, this is the orange sauce part. Um, already in the pot, I have about a cup and a half of water. I have it to a slight boil, just like on medium high. And in that, I'm going to add in about a third cup of just orange juice. This is what I'm using, just plain Tropicana. And go ahead and add that into your water. And that was a third cup of orange juice. I'm also going to go in and add in a third cup of rice vinegar, which is this. I got this from, um, where did we get this from? I think Target. Yeah. Got or Smart Target. Final. One, two. It's like maybe four bucks for this. So yeah. Go ahead and get you this. And then, like I said, that's a third cup. I'm going to add that with the orange juice and water. Okay. And then I have in this cup, this is Kikkoman soy sauce. And I have about two and a half tablespoons of that. And just add that in. Who was that? Add that into your <laughs> pot. Just like so. And, and let it come to a slight rolling boil. Slight. Okay, so this is how the sauce is looking. It's a slight boil. I'm going to turn that down a little bit, just down to medium. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in a cup of brown sugar. That's what's going to make it real sweet. Okay, and now I have some corn zest. Um, this is about a tablespoon. You can do less, you can do more. It all depends on how you want it, but that's about a tablespoon of orange zest. And just throw it in there. Give that a good stir. Now I'm just going to add in some garlic. Just a couple of shakes. Taste it to see how it's tasting. Just a little bit more. And if you have an onion, you can add onion or you can even do um, fresh garlic. But I'm not going to do that because I don't like it. But this is fine the way that it is. Now, I need um, a thickener for this so it can thicken up. Um, so basically, I'm going to use some cornstarch. 
I used to have a small bowl like this, and this is about, there's a little bit of water, I say roughly two tablespoons of water in here. And then I'm going to add around three tablespoons of cornstarch to that water. And you always want to do this separately. You never want to just add your cornstarch in with everything else because then you get like lumps. So separately adding your thickener. And make sure you're stirring it while you're adding it because I learned the hard way. <laughs> just keep stirring that with the whisk or whatever spoon that you have. And then after you stir it, let it sit and it will thicken on its own. Make sure you adjust your, or um, put your heat down a little bit lower so it doesn't burn. So I'll put it like at medium low and just let it sit and do its magic and it will turn into a glaze. So that's what it should look like. And it smells the This is the consistency of the sauce. As you see it's slightly thick. I don't know if that looks thick on camera, but it's quite thick. You see how close the spoon? Yeah, that's the how you get in this skillet. This is just a little tiny bit of oil, um, a tablespoon worth. And um, I'm going to add my chicken to that. You don't want it up too high because you're not really cooking it, but you don't want it to be cold either. Like that. You really don't want it to cook again. It's kind of hot, but it'll cool down again. And then what I'm going to do is just add in the sauce with this and like i said you guys can just put the chicken in here but this is a lot of sauce and not a whole lot of chicken i'm just going to add in the sauce okay folks so this is the orange chicken um i like to call it alicia and alicia's orange chicken express Yep. <laughs> but anyways, I just have some stir-fried um, rice at the bottom. Stir-fried Asian vegetables. And there's the orange chicken, of course. It's looking divine. I wish you guys could smell it. it smells so good. And you can see I added some scallions to that also. So that's what dinner is. Let me know if you guys try this out and how you like it. And check out her apron. Yes, check out the apron, you guys. This is Vivica Fox Hair Collection. You guys, I love hair, so everything is like hair related. But yes. Oh, and check out hers. She has the same. See? Like, they sent these to us because we cook a lot. So yeah. But, anyways, you guys. Um, Again, there is the orange chicken. Let us know if you try this out. If you have your own recipe, let us know um, how you create your orange chicken. I'm dying to know how you guys make it. Of course, the recipe will be located in our blog. So, follow us there. And I guess that's it. Oh, make sure you follow us on Twitter, too. Yeah, we'll leave our links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we have more recipes coming up. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.